U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. They will reach India next week for the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue in New Delhi. The U.S. delegation will meet with India's Minister for External Affairs, Dr. S. J. Shankar, Minister of Defense, Rajanath Singh and other senior Indian officials as well. Now, the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue is being held annually since 2018. The current talks are taking place against the backdrop of tensions between U.S. and China. The New Delhi discussions are expected to focus on both bilateral and global concerns and developments in the Indo-Pacific. The meeting also comes at, at a time when the world is witnessing another war in West Asia, where India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a strongly worded statement condemned the terrorist attacks and said that India stands in solidarity with Israel at this difficult hour, while India also supports the establishment of independent state of Palestine. Uh, India call itself as a voice of South. Uh, Palestine is is uh, some part of South. Mm -hmm. Palestinian are oppressed people. Palestinian, Palestinian, they they lost their territory. So India can uh, first of all uh, considering its good relation with Israel, mm -hmm. it could it its good relation with Islamic world. Mm -hmm. It can play a constructive and strong role in the, to reach to ceasefire at this stage, mm -hmm. uh, to stopping the uh, this uh, bloodbath which is going on in the Palestine. In a statement issued by the U.S. State Department spokesperson, Blinken's trip to India will come at the end of more than a week-long trip to West Asia. The U.S. State of Secretaries. Visit to the U.S. State Secretary's visit to West Asia will include stopovers in Jordan. His relations with Israel have sharply deteriorated over the Israel-Hamas war. Jordan has recalled its ambassador. We're of course talking about relations between Jordan and Israel here. Jordan has recalled its ambassador from Israel, stating that ties will not be will not resume until Israel suspends its assault. Now, Blinken had also spent time in Jordan during a trip last month after the October 7th attack by Hamas militants on Israel. He will also be traveling to Israel next for meetings with members of the Israeli government. Secretary Blinken will travel to Israel and Jordan on Friday. The secretary will meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu and other leaders of the Israeli government to receive an update on their military objectives. In his meetings in Jordan, the Secretary will also underscore the importance of protecting civilian lives and our shared commitment to facilitating the increased, sustained delivery of life-saving humanitarian assistance to civilian in, civilians in Gaza, the resumption of essential services, and ensuring that Palestinians are not forcibly displaced outside of Gaza. Blinken is also traveling to Japan and South Korea, where Tokyo has already denounced Hamas assaults and the harm they brought to civilians in Israel. However, unlike its G7 partners, which focused on the issue of Israel's defense, the Japanese government emphasized the need for both parties to exercise maximum restraint and expressed concerns over Israel's airstrikes. Now, Seoul is urging the swift and peaceful resolution of the conflict, fearing regional and global spillovers. The Yoon Sokyol government is also careful not to take sides here. 